9 Heavenly Thunder Manual. CH 41, representing Martial Sect. Brother Lei, this issue is between Martial Sect and Ming Sect, it's best that you don't interfere, said Shang Wan Shi Hong as he looked towards the distant Lei Yun Tian. As these super strong people of Tinglong country conversed, simply no one would dare to interrupt. Additionally, this dialogue they were having was ear-deafening, so it was impossible for someone to do this if they did not have a strong internal energy, how great was the surface area of the stadium? Only they and a few would have such strength. Brother Shangguan, you seem to have forgotten that Lei Yu is part of our Lei family household, have you forgotten this point? Asked Lei Yun Tian in a cold tone. Once his words came out, the entire audience suddenly exploded. The previous quietness was broken by Lei Yun Tian, suddenly everyone started discussing, but it became quiet soon afterwards. Brother Lei, if I remember correctly, a few years ago, it was you that kicked Lei Yu out of the family, how is it now that you are saying he is a member of the Lei family? Such a joke, stated Shang Wan Shi Hong in a cold tone as well. Today is a match between Martial Sect and Ming Sect. Have you guys made up your mind whether Lei Yu is representing the Lei family or Martial Sect? Our Ming Sect does not mind either, but at least give us a clear accountability? Asked the leader of the Ming Sect. Indeed, regardless of which major force they were going against, did not matter one bit, the goal of this match was to show off their strength. The four major forces had always been at equilibrium in the country, it had never been broken. At least after today, this balance will no longer exist. The source of this content is nov slash l slash b slash n dot forward slash net. Lei Yun Tian gritted his teeth, he is representing our Lei family household. Once Lei Yun Tian said this, the Lei family members behind him all began to rile up. That day, Lei Yu was indeed identified as useless trash and kicked out of the house, but why would today, the master of the family would suddenly say the trash was part of their Lei family? Especially the elder's grandson, Lei Yun, within the Lei family, he had always been the most outstanding and prominent person. Apart from the master of the family's eldest son Lei Long, he would have the highest prestige within his generation of members. But of course they did not know of the changes Lei Yu underwent, which meant they were clueless on how Lei Yu was now the once in a millennium genius of the Lei family. No. I am representing martial sect. Suddenly an extremely strong voice came from the direction of an entrance. The voice actually contained a strong magnetic power, which was a unique property in the power of lightning. Everyone in the stadium turned their attention to the figure that had just entered. His upper body was bare, his lower body wearing a pair of long black pants, exposing his exquisitely toned muscles that did not give off a sense of explosive power. The perfect lines of his muscles showed off the power it contained, his deep set of profound eyes showed his unfathomable thoughts, causing people to be uncertain at all times. If one was to mention the most special place, it would undoubtedly be the lightning brand on his right arm. That's right, the appearance of this person is the other star of this match, Lei Yu. The words Lei Yu said while entering the stadium made Lei Yun Tian's heart falter a bit, but he did not say anything further, only turning around and sitting back down. The rest of the Lei family members then stared at Lei Yu with hatred in their eyes, this Lei Yu dared to not give any face to the master of the family? You're late. Kai Zhong opened his eyes wide and slightly smiled. No, I'm not late. From the time we agreed back then, we're still early. The time we agreed on was 8 o'clock in the evening, did you forget this? Lei Yu went to the middle of the field, standing to the side of Kai Zhong. Did you not receive our Ming sex notification of the time? Why are you late? Are you actually looking down on our Ming sect? Asked the Ming sex leader at the newly arrived person. You are the leader of Ming sect, right? Lei Yu asked politely. Lei Yu gently bowed to show his respect, after all, his identity at this time was not enough to go against this super strong individual, so he naturally had to demonstrate humility with his attitude. Of course, this humble attitude allowed the Ming sex leader to be slightly less disgruntled. But you should not forget, three years ago on this day, Kai Zhong and I made an agreement of the date as individuals. Today, Ming sect changed the place, I only changed the time a little bit, is that not okay? 
Once he said these words, Ming sect's leader once again got angry, this is what our Ming sect had decided, so that means you disagree with it? But you shouldn't forget that I am representing martial sect here in this fight. This duel originally was just between Kai Zhong and me, but since you intervened in this duel and changed it into a duel amongst the major forces, am I in the wrong by wanting to be better prepared for this event? Lei Yu said in reasonable manner. You. Well spoken, this kid gave us martial sect back some face. Although Shang Guan Shi Hong did not say this very loud, but one could hear joy from the tone of his voice. The first reason being the appearance of Lei Yu, the second being Lei Yu's words won back the face of martial sect to allow them to stand back up on this stadium. The martial sect members on the side all nodded in a pleased atmosphere. It seems that Lei Yu's preparations have been very adequate. Ai Air pursed her lips and coldly looked at Xiao Fei. Didn't you say he would not dare to come? Humph, brother Yu, is stronger than you, would you dare to go up for this duel? Once Ai Air said this to him, Xiaofei suddenly became angry, but he directed the source of his anger onto Lei Yu standing at the center of the field. Forcefully clenching his fists, he silently promised in his heart that he will one day surpass this love rival. Amongst all the audience, those that were optimistic about Lei Yu's performance were only Nua Yi Long and the dozen or so others. He personally witnessed the fight against Fan Hong Chang while the rest did not know, therefore it was natural to see Lei Yu as the weaker contender. The Ming sex leader slightly furrowed his brows, thinking, strange, I cannot tell what strength this kid possesses? Is he more powerful than my cultivation? Impossible. He's just a nobody stinking brat, but why I can't I see through his strength? Enough spouting nonsense, are you guys going to fight or not? urged the elder Qing Feng from the corner of Celestial Court, whom had kept silent throughout. Come on, let me experience how much you've grown in these three years. Said Kai Zhong as he retreated a few steps back. Lei Yu faintly smiled, I too have been looking forward to this. No one knew where Lei Yu went or did this past month, but he was very clear, after just over a month's time, he had already pushed his strength from the late stage of energy suppression to the peak condition. So for this match, Lei Yu was filled with complete confidence. They both instantly stood still in place. The atmosphere of the entire stadium was filled with tension, everyone held their breath waiting, waiting for the exciting duel to open the curtains and begin. They too seemed like that weren't stirring, but they were actually continuously circulating their own internal energy. Lei Yu spent a long time thinking and theorizing on how to combine the strengths of energy suppression stage into his melee expertise, to create a more perfect fusion of his strengths together. The internal energy appeared to be standing still was actually absorbing and circulating to every part of his body. Compared to before, it was like heaven and earth. Whether it was his arms or legs, the internal energy stayed still there as if it was dead. As long as something happens, Lei Yu would rely on his spiritual strength to skillfully control this internal energy to instantly explode forth sending out an extremely strong attack. 9 Heavenly Thunder Manual CH42, Black Smoke On the other side, the body of Kai Zhong began to emit a faint black smoke, as if his body was slowly burning. They both did not make any moves first since after three years, they did not know each other's strength and to what degree they had each achieved. If they hastily made a move, they might suffer for it. So, they just observed each other waiting for an opportunity. The audience present naturally understood this logic, therefore no one opened their mouths to press the fight on, they just sat quietly watching the two. They've already confronted each other for over two minutes. A faint breeze blew by and the grass on the ground slightly quivered. Kai Zhong took this opportunity to make a move while Lei Yu as always, stood his ground. By using his own principles of fighting, he chose not to act in order to counter his opponent's move. Kai Zhong's figure was very quick, each step he took on the ground, a gust of wind would pick up. Borrowing the wind's gust to his advantage, it seemed to speed Kai Zhong up more quickly causing a blur of his afterimage being seen. Lei Yu did not dare to underestimate this opponent of his that he fought to a draw three years ago. His internal energy started condensing while he deliberately abided his time. The moment the figure of Kai Zhong got close, 
they both struck out at the same time, every fist containing an explosive power. Lei Yu dodged around, punching, whenever he saw an opportunity, but was cleverly blocked, by Kai Zhong. Lei Yu had to recognize his opponent's ruthless attacks, each strike his opponent through had implicit penetration ability. And this penetration ability had an aura of death contained in it, as if attacking Lei Yu's soul, making him unable to quell his trembling heart. Kai Zhong was not better off, every time he dodged or attacked, he was deliberately avoiding Lei Yu's fist. The feeling of paralysis made it somewhat difficult for him to control his own strength and accuracy. The two were currently fighting evenly, not knowing who had the advantage or disadvantage. Unbelievable. I've never expected little, you could have reached such strength already. Lei Yun Tian's eyes revealed a look of surprise. Included were the clan members behind him, each with their mouths agape. With an opponent like this amongst the younger generation, it would be undoubtedly the most powerful they've ever seen. Some of them even began to regret how they had treated Lei Yu in the past. But the fight had just begun, everything was still an unknown. Each time either of them attacked, their accuracy would be pinpoint. They also did not use their full strength, because if they missed, then they would just be waiting for failure to arrive. From what we can see, they were still testing each other. Their feet were shifting around non-stop, from east to west, from south to north, a rapid pack-pack sound spread throughout the stadium. From this, we can tell how fast their hand strikes were. Kai Zhong cleverly shifted his hand from the bottom, bypassing Lei Yu's blocking arm in a flash, aiming directly for Lei Yu's chin from underneath. The palm speed with fingers of sharp nails caused a sharp whistling sound. Lei Yu's reaction was considered quite fast, his body leaned back slightly, so Kai Zhong clawed nothing but air. Their two bodies backed up a step before charging at each other once again, the collision of momentum instantly started up again. As Kai Zhong drew close to Lei Yu again, he wanted to rely on his own forces of darkness to penetrate through and hit the chest area, but his flaw was revealed. Kai Zhong's abdomen area was unguarded, which was perceived by Lei Yu. One hand rose to block a series of violent attacks, his right leg was raised up without detection, his knee turned to the side, and then a sidekick directly struck Kai Zhong in the abdominal area. With no time to block, an extremely strong impact combined with waves of paralysis suddenly blew his body outwards. Kai Zhong tried to stabilize his body, but a wave of pain accompanied by sporadic paralysis made his body unstable, a mouthful of blood burst forth. And at this time, Kai Zhong's gaze at Lei Yu became more vicious. The audiences in the stadium were all up in a commotion, especially from the Lei family's area. Wasn't this the person that was originally considered useless trash? From the present situation, Kai Zhong's strength was definitely at the late stage of the fourth order rank, while Lei Yu's strength was still undetermined. Being able to rival his strength and even hurt him meant that this Lei Yu's strength was definitely not weak. I never thought little you would be able to reach the strength of a fourth order rank at his age. Lei Yun Tian cried out in excitement while jumping out of his seat in shock. After slightly gasping for air, Lei Yu slowly restored his calm. Kai Zhong wiped off the blood from the corner of his mouth and said, You've improved a lot, looks like I have to become more serious in order to deal with you. The source of this content is nov l v n forward slash net. Lei Yu did not do answer. Once Kai Zhong ended his words, a thick black smoke started to surround his body, his entire body was slowly wrapped up in this black smoke. Lei Yu stayed still while cautiously observing this black smoke. Within the black smoke, Kai Zhong condensed his demonic power, his eyes suddenly turned blood red, and a small black knife inexplicably appeared in his hand. But this entire scene was not seen by Lei Yu due to the thick black smoke. But those up in the spectator seats such as the Ming sex leader and Zhao Han clearly saw it, Kai Zhong was completely filled with rage. Suddenly, Kai Zhong's figure with the black smoke disappeared, and the next instant appeared behind Lei Yu. All this has happened in a blink of an eye, no one knew exactly how he accomplished it. No matter how fast Lei Yu's reaction speed was, he could not foresee this situation happening. A sudden breath of chilling energy was felt on his back. Lei Yu wanted to turn around, but it was too late, a cold light flashed by from top to bottom. 
Ag. Brother you. Little you. The audience spectating suddenly bustled in a commotion, Nua E. Long and the rest, including Lei Yun Tian, were anxiously looking at Lei Yu. Kai Zhong's attack would not be that simple, after slashing with his knife he raised his hand, and then threw a palm strike at Lei Yu's back. Ak. Lei Yu cried out in pain once, his body was blown away a short distance, tumbling onto the grassy field. First it was the deep wound on his back, followed by a palm strike with penetrating power, Lei Yu suddenly felt that he was unable to continue controlling his own power. The wound on the right side of his shoulder blade emitted a terrible pain. Lei Yu then coughed out a mouthful of blood, his body constantly shaking. The short knife stained with blood within Kai Zhong's hand appeared to be in a frenzy, its surface showed a touch of red light followed by the disappearance of the layer of blood belonging to Lei Yu. Little Yu. Nua who forcefully clenched his fist, the situation in front him showed that Lei Yu had been seriously injured. If allowed to continue, then he would most likely lose his life, he did not expect Kai Zhong to be this sinister and vicious. But this was an impossible situation since before the duel, no one said that weapons weren't allowed. Besides, the participants in this match knew that life or death had been decreed by fate, this match was no different from a life or death match. The anxious look on AI Air's face was obscured by her hand, she did not dare to continue looking. As to the Xiaofei on the side, his mouth gently turned upwards in a smile, his eyes filled with satisfaction as if he vented out his frustration. Large drops of perspiration covered Lei Yu's forehead, it was getting harder and harder for him to breath. Lei Yu clenched his teeth, keeping a close eye on the Kai Zhong in front of him. Was this the same rival as before? Why had he become so vicious? The previous time they fought could be considered quite vicious, but they were now somehow putting their lives on the line. And within Kai Zhong's blood-red eyes, Lei Yu could not see any signs of humanity, there was only a frightening thirst for blood. Accept your death. Kai Zhong stuck out his tongue and licked the blood on the corner of his mouth. He got closer to Lei Yu one step at a time, blood edge in his hand exuding a flash of chilled light. This aura of death approached Lei Yu one step at a time. 9 Heavenly Thunder Manual CH43, Hanging by a Thread Since you are no longer the Kai Zhong I know, then I, Lei Yu will have to kill. At the edge of death, Lei Yu naturally could not care about anything else, saving himself was the most important thing. During the previous clashes, he did not consume too much internal energy, only some faint amount of output. Although he was seriously injured, Lei Yu was still able to dish out some fatal attacks. Lei Yu and Kai Zhong were considered evenly matched, so an explosive powerful attack should seriously injure Kai Zhong as well. Thinking up to this point, while Lei Yu was under an extreme crisis, he focused all his internal energy into his right arm causing the lightning brand on his right arm to faintly shimmer. Naturally, most people were unable to see what Lei Yu was doing, including Kai Zhong there's no way he could detect it. Most of the spectators in the stadium were frantic for Lei Yu, whose life was hanging by a thread. Even though Lei Yun Tian wanted to make a move to rescue him, it was impossible. Ming Sek's leader was worried of such a situation happening, so from beginning to end, his stares did not leave either Shang Wan Shi Hong or Lei Yun Tian. As Kai Zhong neared, his aura of death became richer and thicker. Lei Yu could not help moving his body backwards. Maybe it was because of this that made Kai Zhong feel that his opponent was in a fragile state, so it further aroused the bloodthirstiness in his mind. The source of this content is nov slash l slash b slash n dot forward slash net. As his foot hit the ground, he explosively dashed forward. Kai Zhong was attempting to finish Lei Yu off with this last move because he had already lost control of his true nature. Fu Fu sound of the wind made the audience hold their breath. This blow could be the one that takes Lei Yu's life away. AI Air immediately fainted and Xiaofei wanted to support her, but was immediately pushed away by Nua Hu so that AI Air fell into the arms of her brother. Once Kai Zhong was extremely close to Lei Yu, Lei Yu clenched his teeth and was prepared to throw out a punch, a punch that contained his entire strength. Lei Yu did not think Kai Zhong was capable of such a move back then, 
able to instantly disappear within the black smoke and appear behind him, or else he would not have suffered such a serious injury. The situation before him was at a critical juncture, suddenly, the yellow energy inside Lei Yu's brain fluctuated, pulling back Lei Yu's desire to fight to the death, recovering his sense of being cool and logical. Kai Zhong's black demonic internal energy surfaced again, the small knife in his hand started rotating like a drill in a high speed, he then suddenly advanced forward followed by continuous attacks. Whoosh! Whoosh! Two vibration sounds were heard. Lei Yu still hadn't made a move yet since he was still waiting for the best opportunity. Failure was not an option during the most crucial moment. Kai Zhong could not help having a cold sneer appear on his face, his next move was to use Blood Edge's aura of death to directly kill Lei Yu. But if he was able to so easily get rid of Lei Yu, then this fight would be too simple. But the Kai Zhong, who had lost his true nature, would not mind it being so simple. Kai Zhong's mind invoked a thought, Blood Edge then disappeared from his left hand and appeared in his right hand. Like lightning, Kai Zhong stabbed Blood Edge, directly where Lei Yu's heart was, its speed achieving extreme speeds. Clang sound of metals colliding was heard. Kai Zhong only felt his arm go numb and then he was blown backwards. Lei Yu clenched his teeth, fighting off the pain on his back, he then slammed the ground and spun his whole body back to a standing position. He wiped off the blood on the corner of his mouth while coldly staring at Kai Zhong. Looking closely, under unknown circumstances, Lei Yu appeared to be holding a white knife object in his hand, seemingly very sharp. In reality it was actually a spike, that's right, this was the spike that he removed from the eye socket of the ink beast he defeated. The clash they had just now seemed slow, but it was actually as fast as lightning. From the start to finish, those slightly weaker cultivators in the audience would have only seen a brief flash, and the sudden collision was already over. The strength that Leiyu had stored did not explode forth because he suddenly remembered his special weapon. Compared to Blood Edge, the spike was probably a grade or more inferior, but when faced with such a critical moment and unable to throw out the punch, Leiyu could only take out the spike to withstand the attack. At this time, the spike in his hand showed a series of cracks, Blood Edge's reputation was indeed justified. The spectators in the stadium all had their mouths agape, wasn't Leiyu supposed to be seriously injured? Why was he still able to resist? The rest of the people could not understand this except for Lei Yu. Although the wounds on his back looked terrible, it was still just a flesh wound. His skeletal bone structure has metallic properties in them, so naturally his bones were not damaged. And through all his training efforts, his skin and muscles have built up some resistance. Since Kai Zhong's previous attack came too suddenly which led him to receive a serious injury, Lei Yu who was originally distraught with his mind in chaos was stabilized by the yellow energy inside his brain, thus allowing him to react with the collision of weapons. Humph, Kai Zhong, you've really surprised me, but, you are too cunning and vicious. Just then you caught me by surprise so I was not fully prepared, but if this is all the strength you have, then it's still a bit too weak, sneered Lei Yu. After he said those words, the audience started boiling up. This Lei Yu was clearly seriously injured, why would he still dare to say such a thing? Could it be that everything that had just happened was just Lei Yu testing his opponent? Was he using his injury as an ante for the test? But inside Lei Yu's heart, a sensation of fear was left behind. This Kai Zhong in front of him had already lost his senses, and for a brief instance, his heart was able to feel the sense of death emanating from him. And after those two simultaneous attacks, if his disposition was not strong enough to resist, maybe now he would already be a corpse. Appearing as if he ignored Lei Yu's statement, the black internal energy coming from Kai Zhong's body became more obvious, his entire body was completely shrouded in black, which made Lei Yu surprised once again. Ha ha ha, a glint of carnage briefly flashed in Kai Zhong's eyes. Lei Yu, if you thought my powers were only at this level, then you are wrong, get ready for your funeral. Once again rushing forward, it appears that this time, the black internal energy on the surface enshrouding Kai Zhong had become a protective barrier capable of protecting against attacks. In addition, borrowing the trace connection between him and Blood Edge, this stab he was about to perform would easily make the living become the dead. Little Yu, watch out! 
cried out Nua E Fong in her heart while she was wringing her hands. Nua E Long on the side also showed expressions of worry all over his face. This battle represented martial sex strength and reputation, so either winning or losing was no mere trivial matter. So Shang Guan Shi Hong and some of the elders from the ancient martial clans were extremely nervous of the outcome. Previously when Lei Yu suffered a serious injury, they thought that everything was over. They never expected a sudden turning point would appear, now everything would depend on this seemingly final clash. Both of Kai Zhong's hands grasped onto Blood Edge. Blood Edge was currently similar to a black snake, giving off a hissing sound that seemed to penetrate Lei Yu's ear. An opportunity? Lei Yu could see an unprotected area of Kai Zhong. Kai Zhong was aiming for his chest and his head area was completely exposed. Lei Yu single-handedly held onto the spike to block Blood Edge's attack, his right arm that had been long charged with his internal energy was getting ready, the moment Kai Zhong arrived in front of him. Clink! Whoosh! Ack! They both cried out at the same time. Only Blood Edge's handle was seen sticking out of Lei Yu's chest, while the rest of the blade was stabbed inside. Nine Heavenly Thunder Manual CH44, Appearance of Variables Kai Zhong's body flew back in an inverted position, landing on the grass motionless about 10 meters away from Lei Yu. At this time, Lei Yu's body was constantly wobbling side to side, his eyebrows were in a frown and his face filled with pain. Master, is this the time we make our move? Asked the Lei family's elder in a whisper. Lei Yun Tian nodded, Lei Yu's current injuries had become more serious, his chest and his back had suffered a fatal wound, if it weren't treated immediately, they may not be able to save his life. Lei Yun Tian was about to make a move when a voice that reverberated through the sky came from the Ming sect area. No one is allowed to intervene. Staring intently, the speaker was clearly Ming sect's leader. Since they are both seriously injured, then we will see who is unable to continue fighting. Anyone that intervenes would mean this fight has become unfair. Sure enough, once that statement was made, the people that originally wanted to rush out such as Nua Yi Long and Lei Yun Tian all hesitated. The entire audiences were holding their breath, waiting for any changes coming from the two in the center of the field. Lei Yu finally could not keep standing and fell down. Little Yu. Nua Hu could not tolerate any more laying AI air against Nua Yi Fong before readying to rush out. Stop right there. Shang Guan Shi Hong coldly eyed Nua Hu, what do you think you're doing? Little Yu has been seriously injured, there's no way he can stand up anymore. I have to go save him. Replied Nua Hu anxiously. The source of this content is nov slash l slash b slash n dot forward slash net. Nonsense. Is this something you can intervene in? You better stay here and keep quiet, you do not have permission to go. But. No buts. Commander Nua, keep an eye on your son, or don't blame me for being ruthless towards him. Indeed, what Shang Wan Shi Hong wanted was the word fair. He wanted to see what situation would evolve between those two at the center of the field. Lei Yu was only considered to have joined Dragon Group halfway. Although he may be considered a member of martial sect, but ultimately his roots were from the Lei family. So in the eyes of Shang Wan Shi Hong, Lei Yu was not even worth a dime, he was nothing more than a pawn in this chess game. Lei Yu's existence for the master of the Lei family's eldest son Lei Long was a great threat, but fortunately he was not present. But there were two people present who hated this useless trash that was kicked out of the family. They did not expect Lei Yu to change from trash to a treasure, becoming someone the master of the family valued. One of them was Lei Tian. On that day of the exchanging pointers match, he suffered terribly. To this day, he still could not forget the pain he suffered, it could be said that deep in his heart, his hatred for Lei Yu was a bit more than the envy he had. The other person is exactly whom you are thinking of, that is Lei Yun. The day Lei Yu, who had been kicked out and was forced by him to the cliff's edge, the master of the family and his grandfather the family elder scathingly denounced him for his actions. With his deep hatred and now jealousy as well, 
seeing how it was unknown if Lei Yu was dead or alive, them two in addition to Xiao Fei could be considered the most happy people out of the entire audience. Time slowly passed by, the audience were worried for the two people lying down on the field. How are their current conditions? One minute, two minutes, three minutes, it's already been ten minutes now, yet the two people still had not regained their consciousness. The main sex leader began to lose patience, I think this duel is going to become a tie. Wait a moment. A wailing cry of resentment suddenly came from the center of the field, everyone was searching for the direction of where the sound was coming from. It's Kai Zhong. That's right. Everyone look, he's standing up. In an uproar, the entire audience went into a commotion. The sound of intense debates became more intense, the way they were speaking made it seem that they had forgotten that the leaders of each of the four major forces were still present. Little Yu, he, Nua who tightened his fists, his eyes were already a bit watery. Looking at Lei Yu lying on the grass still with a knife stuck in his chest, making Nua who feel like his heart was being stabbed with needles, as if that sharp knife was impaled into his own chest. Fortunately, Ai Air had already fainted back then, otherwise she would have ignored the words of Shangguan Shi Hong and rushed onto the field. Even though Nua who wanted to do that exact thing, but in reality he couldn't since he was a member of Dragon Group, his body was not really his own. Even if it was his own father Nua Ilong lying on the field, he still could not rush out. Shangguan Shi Hong heavily sighed, looks like we lost? Kai Zhong crawled up from the ground, his body swaying side to side. Step by step, faltering towards Lei Yu, his goal was to remove blood edge that was sticking out of Lei Yu's chest. In his eyes, Lei Yu was already a cold corpse. Inside Kai Zhong's mind, he was no longer possessed by blood edge's demonic energy, he was just going to retrieve this masterpiece that is blood edge since he could not give it up. Step by step, Kai Zhong was getting closer to Lei Yu. The entire audience's hearts were beating to the same rhythm as Kai Zhong's footsteps. If that knife was pulled out and there weren't any reaction from Lei Yu, then that would mean he had really died. Now the majority of the people present did wish to see the scene happen. But only the master of the Lei family, the elder of the Lei family, and martial sect members, they all hoped to see Lei Yu stand up again. Kai Zhong was getting closer, 10 meters, 9 meters, 3 meters, 1 meter, and finally with great effort, he was next to Lei Yu. He raised his hand and stretched towards the handle of Blood Edge. There was nothing Lei Yu and Tian could do, his hands constantly rubbing each other out of anxiety, and even his forehead was covered with sweat. Lei Yu, you better be okay. The Lei family's lifeline and future rests in your hands, you have to be fine. When Kai Zhong's hand grasped onto Blood Edge, Nua who finally could not hold it in anymore as tears streamed down his face. The two siblings, Nua Yi Long and Nua Yi Feng, also sighed while shaking their heads. Shangguan Shi Hong was just restless, he had already stood up from his chair, it seems like the outcome has already emerged, there was no hope for Lei Yu to have survived this. At this time, the expressionless Kai Zhong suddenly opened his eyes wide. He could hardly believe what he saw, Lei Yu at this time was staring at him, and it was Lei Yu's green-colored eyes that completely shocked him. And at this exact time, when Kai Zhong grasped the handle of the knife, a powerful suction force made his body startled. His body's only little bit of internal energy left was then absorbed in a hungry manner by Lei Yu's body. You guys look. Lei Yu's not dead. Wow. Heavens, it's for real. He actually survived. The audience once again went into an unprecedented excited manner. In the area of the Lei family, both Lei Yun Tian and the elder's eyes were opened wide. With their shocking eyesight ability, they were naturally able to see Lei Yu with his eyes open. I'm not seeing things, right? This kiddo actually did not die? Shangguan Shi Hong's mouth was slightly curved like he was smiling, but not really, he was staring at the center field where Kai Zhong's body was continuously trembling. And on the side of the celestial court spectators, they looked like they were watching something strange. Elder Ching Feng stood up laughing, I never thought this would be worth seeing, I thought this was over already. Ah, not bad, not bad, today was not in vain. 
even though it was just a duel between two little insignificant kiddos, but it was still quite enjoyable. F asterisk CK. Zhao Han, cursed, where the Ming sect members were seated, his life is like a cockroach, he just won't die. I'm afraid this was the unknown variable. The Ming sect's leader narrowed his eyes to a glint, his heart was already in a slump. If it was only because of Lei Yu opening his eyes, then there would be nothing special about it. The key was that he felt the changes to Kai Zhong. Being also a demonic cultivator, he could clearly feel the little bit of demonic energy left inside Kai Zhong was gradually disappearing. 9 Heavenly Thunder Manual CH45, Becoming Unconscious Little you, stand up. Stand up. Nua who was constantly shouting in his heart, that was what he wanted to see the most. Nua Ilong and Nua Ilong were suddenly filled with spirit once again. Plop. Ak. Lei Yu's body was suddenly shaking on the ground, making Kai Zhong back away in shock. This was due to Kai Zhong grasping onto his most precious treasure, reluctant to let go, he then forcefully pulled out blood edge from Lei Yu's chest. Lei Yu sprayed out a mouthful of blood, but the next moment, the two were actually both standing and staring intently at each other. This little Yu, he is really beyond my expectations. Lei Yun Tian could not help saying, and the elder on the side nodded his head in agreement. Looking intently, those few powerful people at the rank of fifth order or above realized even though Lei Yu had stood up once again, his face was expressionless, as if he was a moving corpse standing still there. But the most unusual thing was his eyes, his pupils had already become the color green, as if he had already turned into a ghost. And there on is his right arm, his original lightning brand had become green as well, becoming even more eye-catching than before. On the other side, Kai Zhong, who had what's left of his demonic energy absorbed by Lei Yu was barely able to stand. Yet Blood Edge in his hand, who had just sucked up Lei Yu's blood started boiling up again, a red wavy halo arose on its surface. This strong bloodthirsty aura was becoming one with Kai Zhong, entering his body like crazy allowing Kai Zhong to feel that he was filled with explosive power once again. The source of this content is nov slash l slash b slash n dot forward slash net. You are very strong, but you still cannot escape the fate of death said Kai Zhong, coldly, his eyes becoming red again and glowing a red light. But Lei Yu appeared like he did not hear what was said to him, still using his horrible lifeless eyes staring at Kai Zhong in front of him. Kai Zhong, whom had already been surrounded in an aura of killing intent, could not stop his heart from feeling fear when looking at Lei Yu's lifeless eyes. Even though his persona that wasn't under his own control and was filled with bloodthirstiness could not stop trembling. I will not let you stand up again, accept your death. Kai Zhong could not bear with this horrible gaze, both hands clasping onto blood edge, an unprecedented force exploded outwards from the center of the field. Kai Zhong's black energy and the red light emitting from blood edge in his hands combined together as one. This resulted in a black and red shimmering aura of death. The whistling sound brought out some sharp wailing cries and the wailing cry was like what someone would scream out before dying. All of this rushed towards the motionless Lei Yu. Lei Yu remained expressionless, but his eyes of green suddenly flashed brightly. He simply raised his hand and a bang sound of metals colliding was heard. This made everyone in the audience wonder, they did not see any weapons in Lei Yu's hand, why would there be such a sound? Crack, suddenly, cracks on blood edge held by Kai Zhong started appearing. Gradually, more and more cracks began to cover the blade of blood edge. Kacha blood edge become little bits of blade fragments falling onto the ground while Lei Yu's fist was still raised in the air, not showing the slightest trace of being wounded by the knife. Strong. How did this happen? That's right. After being cut by the sharp knife and stabbed in the chest, how did his punch cause the sharp knife to end up becoming pieces of shattered debris? The entire audience suddenly cried out in surprise. The eyes of everyone looking at Lei Yu looked like they were staring at a monster. Little Yu, he, Nua Ilong's voice was trembling, he was actually this strong? In the area of the Lei family, is this really Little Yu? How could he emit such a terrible aura of death? 
even I cannot guarantee that I could take him on at his current state if I was his opponent. Lei Yun Tian eyes were filled with shock. The shock that Lei Yu has given him could not be describable in words. The clan members behind him all had their mouths open agape, not one of them dared to look down on this powerhouse who was once considered useless trash. My blood edge. My blood edge. Muttered Kai Zhong continuously. It seems like he did not care about what was going on with Lei Yu, his eyes only saw the weapon that supported him and gave him his current strength. Just when everyone thought the outcome of this battle was very clear, a thick black smoke once again came from Kai Zhong's body. The black smoke became more and more thick, enshrouding both Lei Yu and Kai Zhong within it. Anyone lower than the fifth order rank had absolutely no idea what was going on inside the black smoke. Even Nua Ilong and the other fifth order rank or stronger powerhouses could only rely on their senses to detect what was going on inside the smoke. Within the smoke, Kai Zhong's blood red eyes looked at Lei Yu with complete hatred. He was staring at Lei Yu like he was the killer of his entire family. Losing blood edge, Kai Zhong felt like he lost something he could rely on thus bowing to render Lei Yu in front of him into four pieces. With one hand imitating a claw, sharp nails protruded with a flash of white light. Within the thick smoke, people on the outside could not see anything at all. Only those few super-strong individuals knew exactly what was happening inside. Kai Zhong was aiming for Lei Yu's head, although this claw attack would not take a person's life immediately, but it should be enough to take out Lei Yu's fighting ability. Crack. This strange sound rose up into the air, echoing throughout the stadium, chilling the hearts of the audience. This, this is the sound of bones breaking. It was unknown where these words came from but then, everyone held their breath. The thick black smoke in the center of the field began to dissipate, following the gentle breeze, the two shadowy figures of the contestants once again revealed themselves in front of everyone. Both of Kai Zhong's hands were down on the side of his body, one of his hand was constantly dripping blood onto the ground while the other hand was constantly trembling. Lei Yu remained expressionless, as if everything happening here simply weren't related to him in the slightest bit. The green in his eyes continued to shimmer slightly, and his eyes continued staring at the Kai Zhong in front of him. I. I lost. Kai Zhong weakly stepped backward a few steps, then suddenly fell on his buttocks, before ending up unconscious. Lei Yu suddenly screamed into the sky. Ag. Ag. Both hands cradling his head, screaming as if his head was about to explode. Kai Zhong, who admitted defeat had determined this duel had come to an end. Lei Yun Tian, the Lei family elder, Nua Yi Long, and the rest did not bother with anything anymore, rushing to the center field towards Lei Yu screaming up at the sky. They didn't know what was happening to Lei Yu's body. The Ming sect member seeing Kai Zhong had failed only coldly snorted. Bringing more than a hundred people, they disregarded the unconscious Kai Zhong in the field and left in a hurry. As for Shang Wan Shi Hong, he opened his mouth and started laughing out loud. The final outcome of this duel was Martial Sect winning, how could this not make him happy? Since the show was already over, Celestial Court's elder Qing Feng spoke in a voice that allowed everyone in the stadium to hear. Congratulations to Brother Shangguan, your martial sect won. Since the duel is now over, we celestial court will be taking our leave. Take care. Take care. Symbolically, Shangguan Shihong also went on to the field, after all, Lei Yu was the one that earned martial sect lots of face today. Those elders from the ancient martial clans that had come with Shangguan Shihong today all looked at each other, not one of them believed Lei Yu could have actually won this duel. Lei Yu was still screaming. Lei Yun Tian was the first to arrive at his side, his hand wanted to grab onto Lei Yu's arm, ag. An unbearable sense of paralysis assaulted Lei Yun Tian forcing him back a few steps. And at this time, the surprise in his eyes became more evident. How could there be such a powerful force? Is this the true strength of little Yu? Lei Yun Tian took in a deep breath, this was already beyond the scope of his imagination. Little Yu, how do you feel Little Yu? Nua who wanted to grab onto him, but Lei Yun Tian suddenly shouted, don't touch him. 